Welcome to this lightning talk where I'll be talking about how to create and style PowerPoint presentation slides using our markdown and my new package PPTS templates, which will take care of a lot of the styling and formatting. So you're at work, you're doing some analysis, you did something tool, and you need to share it with someone else. This is very common workflow for most of us. At, as in the end of the day, analysis or result doesn't mean anything unless we can't show it to someone else. And you want to make sure that you're sharing it in a way where we keep the reproducibility. So we will turn to some of our uh, common slide creation tools, Syringian, Reveal.js, Beamer, IO Slides. And a lot of these slide, these libraries work really well for presentation, but they can be difficult to share and collaborate with, with collaborators that are not as well versed in R, since they require, they're a little bit harder to handle. And with that, the whole HTML slide format. What would be really nice if we were able to keep all the power from R and the reproducibility, but would be able to output PowerPoint presentation slides because they are by far the most common presentation software out there. And most everybody have some familiarity of how to use and interact with it. So there's three main ways of main ways to create a PowerPoint presentation from R. We can use uh, just the standard R markdown package using uh, Pandot as a back end. We can use the Office Down and Officer package. Both the Office Down and Officer package provide a lot of flexibility with what it can do there are quite a lot more work to get into. And this is why I'll only be focusing on the R markdown route. So what can we do without going into any of these extra packages? So the PowerPoint presentation output format is a very simple um, format we can use. And it gives us four different types of slides. So we have the title slide, we have the title and content slide, which is the main slide you'll be using, is the one with the bit area where you can put text or figures. There's the section header, which is like the intermediate section one you can use to divide up your presentation into sections. And then we have a class of two content uh, slide layout with a left and a right hand side. And let me just to, to show you what they actually look like. So we'll start our PowerPoint presentation with a YAML file. Notice how we specify the output to be a PowerPoint presentation. And we see that the first slide we see will be our title slide. And the title slide is specified with what information we have in the YAML. So we see we have a title, we have author and a date, and these are placed in the PowerPoint presentation. We can also use standard uh, markdown features such as links and making things bold. It's important to note right here that we used a section two header to denote new slide. So every time we're using this double uh, pound symbol, this will denote our next slide. And we can use other features such, such as bulleted lists. So most of the standard markdown functionality will work inside these PowerPoint presentation slides. Our session header will be a level one header and this will be a differently styled slide that 
will only contain the this section header right here. So we attain that anything else that is from our markdown. This is the only thing we can do. Our title and content slide is what I think would be your most used ones. This one we've seen a couple of times before. We can also add in uh, plots or tables, anything non-interactive. It's important to note that it can only take one thing. So if you have something that includes texts and uh, some kind of element that is a plot or a table, it will be pushed down to the next one. If you want to do the two times two times end one, which is like a polymer one, it has a left hand side and right hand side. We have to use this paint dot tolum specification to see if the on the left or the tolerance, and it will then place things in these uh, left and right hand side. So we saw a couple of things, and there's a couple of different problems. One of them is the slides we saw were fairly plain. They were black and white. There wasn't a much going on. And we also saw that we were limited to our more rectangular slide format. And additionally, we saw that all the, the features didn't quite fit in the slides as much as they maybe could have been. So this is some of the problems that the PPTH templates package will try to solve. When you install it, you'll get a couple of things. You will get a, a studio add-in that when used will in, insert the paint dot fencing to do the column. So you don't have to remember how many they are. You just use the, the add-in, it plops it right in. It also includes a couple of templates that shows you how to use the different features. And my hope is that you can use those templates and modify them to your corporate theme or whatever theme you like and be able to take full advantage of everything with minimal changes on your part. So this has a much lengthy uh, document showcasing a lot of different things. But this is like the beginning and the main part of it. What you see at the top right here, we have a new reference document. So it includes another PowerPoint presentation file where we have changed the styling of it. And we're telling PowerPoint presentation, hey, use this as a reference of how to style. And then we're loading in PPT8 template. And what this one does is pulling out the sizes of the different content areas and saving those as option templates. Plus this means that now when we move forward, every time we're putting in a plot, we can use this options labels argument in our chunk to say full left and right. And it will make sure that the output of all your plots will fit perfectly inside the template. So now using this template, we can see that our title slide has done a little update. We even added other fancy elements such as this line with a small gradient in it. We see there's a wider format. And we see that all the content is the same as before, but the styling has been markedly uh, approved, improved. See different ones. And notice how the plots now fill the area perfectly. And this is also the showcase that when you're doing a two content layout, you don't need to do a 50-50 split. Everything will just follow our template. So I'd like to say thank you very much for listening along. The repository will also include a video of how to uh, format these uh, PowerPoint presentation templates. Thank you.